Hi everybody, Jim Sammons here from the Kayak Fishing Show. The, on this week's Kayak Fishing Tales, we are headed to one of my favorite places to fish, and that's Cedros Island off the coast of Baja. We get a chance to go after calico bass, yellowtail, and we get a surprise hit by a really nice size halibut. Check it out. Cedros Island. It's a good thing. I love it out here, man. We've had some awesome trips to this place, and uh, looking forward to another one. This is gonna be a fun adventure. Calico bass and lots of yellowtail. And maybe even some white sea bass. I've been catching white sea bass out here too. So. <sighs> Nothing wrong with catching a white sea bass. Probably um, white sea bass in Spanish means delicious. You know that, right? Delicious. Go on the kayak, put a bait in and paddle slow. And then when the fish hits it, take it out of the rod holder and then flip it into gear. <laughs> Cedros is amazing. It's a lot bigger than I thought. And the fish are a lot bigger than I thought. Fishing some live bait today, we actually found a huge school of uh, Really tiny sardines, but there were some nice uh, mackerel in the mix there, so we've got live bait on, and we're gonna see if we can get a yellow. Ah, uh, well, I wish I had my drift chute with me. That definitely helps you in the wind, slows down your drift, makes it more fishable. Yeah, got it. Look at that, that is a quality calico bass. Fishing in the boiler rocks, it really helps if you can fish weedless, like I'm doing with this uh, soft swimmer, because getting snagged in the boiler rocks in a kayak is a real problem, because then you gotta drag yourself into the danger zone. You always wanna stay aware if you're in really true boiler rocks where there's a lot of surf action, because uh, sneaker sets can come through and take you out, so. I always keep my paddle in my lap. You know, I generally don't slide it up front when I'm fishing the boilers. Always keeping an eye over my shoulder. Generally try not to turn my back on the waves. I'll be sideways to a wave, so at least I can only have to do a quarter turn and not a full half turn to get myself going back out. The main thing is, is you know, just like any kind of fishing, it, you know, you, you gotta get in there in that structure. And, and calico bass, they love to be in that structure. They love to be in that turbulent water. So you gotta be willing to toss the lure in there and get in close enough to, uh, to do it. Drop the jig down, cause we're metering fish and we saw them in the same spot yesterday. And jig, jig, up and down, and not getting any bites. And then all of a sudden this thing hits like a freight train. So I hooked up that halibut and at first I thought it might have been a yellowtail. We're jigging, yo-yoing for yellowtail and this thing just hit. I'm like, okay, I'm on. And felt a couple head shakes. Didn't quite feel like a yellowtail, but I knew it was a big fish. It was pulling me pretty hard and just started whining on it. I got this rod drag set down tight, so I'm just winching it in and not pulling a whole lot of drag after a little while, it kind of gave up and the next thing you know there's this big barn door halibut at the end of my line un under the boat and we're freaking out like oh we got to get it in and Sean got a perfect gaff shot on it, fought a woke up, got a second win right there but we got it on the boat and that's what matters. Got my personal best halibut! Out here in Cedros, things a tank, big old barn door. Well, I think you can see what a, a wonderful place to go fishing Cedros Island is. We want to thank Ram Mounts for helping us always keeping our kayaks outfitted the best way possible. Check them out at rammounts.com. If you haven't done so already, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Kayak Fishing Tales.